everybody, my name is Dr. Laura Leff and I'm the chair of the Department of Biological Sciences. Today I want to tell you a little bit about what our department does, ranging from research to study abroad to different courses we offer, and I'll also take you on a bit of a tour. Right now I'm standing in one of the teaching labs in Cunningham Hall. Cunningham Hall is the home to the Department of Biological Sciences and features our main office, lots of teaching labs like this one, as well as classrooms, research labs, and faculty offices. This particular lab is where we teach cell biology. This is a course that pre-med students and pre-health students take as sophomores. And they learn in this class how to extract proteins, quantify DNA, and do lots of other different molecular methods, including using state-of-the-art microscopy. Also in this room, I want to talk about some other ways to get involved. One of these is through study abroad. Our department offers courses in biology in the spring semester and in the summer in Florence, Italy. We also have a teaching lab, much like this one over in Florence. During the Summer Institute, which is a four-week program, we offer two biology courses that rotate from year to year. One of the courses I co-teach and that I help develop is called Feast and Plagues, the Science of Italian Food, Wine, and Disease. Another way that students get involved is through student organizations. We have several professional organizations who are related to pre-med, pre-health, medical technology, and so on. Those student organizations provide leadership opportunities and also a way to connect with other students and to get to meet guest speakers, go on field trips, and so on. Right now, I'm in the Biology Club room in Cunningham Hall. The Biology Club is the largest and oldest student organization in our department. Students from any major can join. It's most popular with our zoology and ecology and conservation biology students. The clubs have field trips. They go to different zoos and aquaria. They have guest speakers come in. They compare notes about getting internships. And they also have this room where they hold their executive committee meetings and where they can hang out before and after class to study and to take care of animals. So one of the big things that they do is they have their own collection of animals, spiders, snakes, lizards, and so on. These animals are pets that belong to the biology club and they're solely responsible for their care. Students that want to join the animal care team go through a kind of a comprehensive online training where they get certified to be able to participate as a member of a care team which comes through on a daily basis in groups helping care for these animals. The club gives lots of opportunities to get involved both in directly working with the animals and learning from each other but also serving as leaders. So being able to lead the group, organize those uh, animal care teams really gives great experience and enhances communication skills quite a lot. So the biology club uh, students are very active and very interactive and they always welcome new members at any point during their time here at Kent State. I am in the Integrated Sciences Building, which is on the Science Mall along the Esplanade that runs across campus. This building has research labs for chemistry, physics, and biology. We also have teaching labs for biology, as well as some great interactive spaces like this one. In this particular space, we hold events like poster sessions, as well as career fairs, where we invite individuals from different agencies, nonprofit groups, and universities to come and talk to our students about their career options. Right now, I'm in the Integrated Sciences Building in one of our two biology teaching labs. In this building, we have laboratories for two of our freshman classes, biological diversity and biological foundations. So laboratories for those courses meet in these rooms and students engage in learning about the scientific process by doing experiments as well as by learning how to use different scientific methods. So right now I'm in a biology research lab and laboratories like this one, faculty, graduate students and undergraduates work side by side to generate new scientific information and to make discoveries. In this particular lab, we have people that study diabetes, that make scaffolds to grow tissues on, and that look at healing of spinal cord injuries. These projects are also part of some of the research institutes that we have on campus. 
One of these is the Brain Health Research Institute that focuses on neuroscience and related topics, and the other is the Advanced Materials and Liquid Crystal Institute. In both cases, faculty members in those institutes do research in this laboratory as well as in laboratories throughout campus. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour of the Department of Biological Sciences here at Kent State University. I look forward to welcoming you to campus.